Today we're going to be gathering fabric and I have a method for you that is so easy. There are multiple ways to gather fabric. Traditionally you create two rows of stitching that are basting stitches that are not back stitch on the end so that way you can pull them and it gathers up the fabric. But I have a way easier method so no breaking threads when you're pulling them together. Grab a scrap piece of fabric so that way you can test out this method before you take it to your garment or project that you're working on. I'm going to be using a silk organza in yellow and a pink thread. Let's move over to the sewing machine and give this flat fabric some gathers. Let's do it, come on. Today I'm going to be using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 980Q. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is select our fabric on the screen, which is going to be a woven light. And if you don't have this machine, no big deal. Just make sure that your tension is set correctly for the fabric that you're using. On the Epic 980Q, I'm going to be using stitch number four, which is a zigzag stitch. So go ahead and set your machine to a zigzag. And I also like to make sure that it's a little bit wider than what it's preset at. Zigzags can vary from machine to machine, so make sure you choose one that's a little wider than normal. The first step is making sure your bobbin thread is on top of your plate here, and that you also have your top thread visible. So for this next step, you want to hold your top thread that's coming out of your needle here and you're going to take the hand wheel on the side of your machine that moves your needle up and down and pull it towards you. So what we want to do is bring up the bottom thread to the top. So that bottom thread, you wanna pull it up to the top. So you can see there's a loop there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that bobbin thread up to the top. So now you have two threads on the top of your fabric. So you can almost see here the thread on the bottom is through the fabric. Now what we're gonna do is take both threads and pull them out double the length of your project. So let's go ahead, top thread, bottom thread, and pull these out. Now what you're gonna do is start zigzagging, but make sure you're holding both of these threads. So you're gonna notice the zigzag is gonna go over both of these threads. You want the zigzag stitch to go over both of the threads and as you hold this taut, you're gonna notice it's gonna start to gather. If you want, you don't have to hold it super tight so you can adjust your gathers later, but this is going to start gathering your fabric up. If you straighten out your gather, you'll notice you can see the zigzag going right over both of the threads. We're almost finished. Now we're gonna continue on the length of our fabric and we get to the very end, we're gonna backstitch or fix. Now we've created this stitch all the way along the top of our fabric, and now we can hold those two really long thread tails, and then you pull it, and then check it out. It's gonna gather up. And you can choose how gathered you want it, depending on the project you're working on. How easy was that? No breaking the basting stitches. We have two really strong threads in the middle of this zigzag. How fun was that? We took a big piece of fabric and we gathered it up into this little piece of fabric. How useful is that technique when sewing garments? No more breaking basting stitches. I love this technique for gathering. Thanks for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun learning the easiest way ever to gather fabric. Make sure you guys check out my Instagram and stay up to date with everything sewing related. It is Sew Anastasia, of course. And if you want to see what I'm doing in the design world, check out Anastasia Chaska on Instagram. And if you're in Chicago, take a sewing class with me. I teach sewing classes multiple days a week. Information about all of that is right down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.